everyone welcome back to my channel so the other day i bought some stuff from colourpop i bought a palette and a brush set as well as a mystery box i purchased a mystery box because i thought it would be a fun video to do where i use all the products that were given to me i did take a look at it i thought that I thought that the mystery box will have a separate box but everything came in one box so I did take a peek but I didn't fully see what I got so this is the brush set and the palette that I got this will be in another video so this is everything that's part of the mystery box okay so the first thing is this I I actually don't know what this is when I first saw this I was like hmm what is this okay so this ooh Oh, this is a highlighter. This is ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Windmill. Oh, here we go. This is the color. Let me show you how it looks. I feel like this is too bronzy for me. Like, I don't think I could use this color as a highlighter. Maybe like an eyeshadow, but definitely not a highlighter for me. Next is the Soul Body Blending Sponge. An oversized reusable sponge that buffs and blends shimmer easily into skin. I don't apply body shimmer, so this will be interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna use this, but I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just use this to apply my foundation. It's a bit big, but you know, bigger the better. Next, I got some rhinestones. That'll be fun. Um, I got a lot of lip products. Okay, so I got four lip products. So the first one is French Kiss Glossy Lip and this is in the color sugar snap here's how it looks this is going to be a dark color for me but still very pretty next I have two lip products from their Lux velvet collection this is the Lux liquid lipstick and I have the color in just imagine and honey pie let's look at honey pie first so here is the color next is just imagine it seems like all the lip colors so far are kind of in the same color range so this color, just imagine, pretty much looks like this color, but not glossy. Okay, interesting, interesting. I don't know what lip color I'm going to pick, but I guess it doesn't really matter because they are all similar. And last lip product is part of their So Glossy collection. It is a lip gloss, and it is in the color Newport. Again, the color is very similar. Oh, okay, this is a very pretty color. Another nude gloss. I have a feeling I'm gonna go with this lip gloss, but we'll see. But yeah, you can really see that all the colors of the lip products are in the same range. I think it would be nice if they added like a red or like a pink tone in there. But I guess this is what we're working with today. I also got three gel liners. I'm gonna look at this one first. It is in the color Overboard. Ooh, okay. So the liner is very creamy and it's just a very nice bronze. Next is in their color Extra Frosting. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh yeah, it has that like butter cream frosting color. This liner is not as creamy as this one that I swatched. And lastly, I have the color in Wildcat. It is a nice gold color. Okay, maybe this challenge is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I think I could work with these two colors, but I don't know how I'm gonna add that creamy color and lastly i got an eyeshadow palette so this is their play it jewel press powder palette Ooh. okay this is how it looks like it has some neutrals some bright colors this is a fun palette i'm excited now i'm excited to play around with this palette. Let's let's swatch some color. I'm gonna take this one. Ooh, it's soft. Wow, that's a really pretty color. I'm gonna do this color now. That's a very pretty color. And the colors are pretty pigmented. I'm gonna swatch a non-shimmer color. Let's go with this deep purple. It's really nice and pigmented as well. By the way, this is my first time trying ColourPop eyeshadows. So I'm excited. For today's look, I obviously have to go for a bronzy look. So let's get started. So I wet the sponge. Obviously this is for your body, but I want to try and use all the products. So I'm going to use this sponge to apply the product on my face. So I'm just going to take my BB cream. 
and just apply it everywhere with my finger first um, now I'm just taking the sponge and blending it out I don't know how well it's gonna do since it's not for foundation it's for like body shimmer it's not doing too bad um I think I picked the wrong shade this is medium when I think I picked medium instead of light medium okay this is not my color oh my goodness this is not my color we're not off to a good start i was supposed to use light medium i think i just read medium i'm like okay this is it the sponge did a pretty good job blending out the bb cream it did a really good job actually while we're at it i'm going to contour i don't think my contour is going to show i'm going to just set everything with powder there's a little bit of color in my powder so maybe the powder will help lighten the bb cream a little bit all right let's do the eyes first color is this one i'm gonna take this color with a blending brush i'm applying this on my outer corner and then taking it up to the crease like this next i'm going to take this color right here i'm using a smaller blending brush i'm just deepening the area that I applied the previous color now going with the darker color this color right here same brush and I'm just applying this just on the outer corner I'm, I'm not going to take this up to my crease now I'm going to take the gel liner overboard I'm just going to just lightly apply it in this area and then blending it out with my finger I'm using it as a base for the shimmer shadows that I'm going to use it's so creamy that you could kind of use it as like a base like a, a shadow stick now i'm going to take the super shock highlighter in windmill using a brush i'm going to use this as the um color in the middle i don't think i could use this highlighter as my actual highlighter and for the bottom i'm only going to apply it like on the center it's like this i'm not gonna drag it all the way out now i'm going to take wildcat gel liner i'm going to apply this gel color on the inner third of my eyes so the gel liner came out darker than i thought so i am gonna take this gold color and apply that on top i want to darken the look just a little bit so i'm gonna take the dark brown i'm just gonna give it a light tap i'm not gonna grab a lot of product just very lightly going to apply it on the outer corner i want to i also want to bring the color just a little bit higher i'm going to line my eyes and put on lashes first i'm going to tight line with a black gel liner and then apply liquid i also took my black liner and applied it on my lower lash line and smudge it with a brush i put on my lashes and my contacts no matter how bad your makeup is if you put on lashes and contacts the makeup just looks better i'm gonna also quickly do my brows i think i used the highlighter color as my blush slash highlight and instead of directly applying it like right here i'm gonna apply it like up here i still have to use this color and i'm just gonna cheat and use it as my highlight i'm gonna put it on my nose just like this and then apply it down here and then i'm blending it out with my finger taking i'm taking a little highlighter now and just placing it on top now my lips i'm going to use this two color this is the luxe velvet in just imagine and the so glassy lip gloss in newport i'm gonna use these two um i'm first going to use the luxe velvet in just imagine i thought this color would be a lot darker but it's actually like a it has like a nice tint of pink to it and now i'm gonna apply the gloss this is the so glassy lip gloss in newport and i'm just applying this on top all right so this is my final look i just went with a bronzy look today i had so much fun trying different products from colourpop this was my first time trying their eyeshadows and their lip products thank you so much for getting ready with me like this video and comment what brands i should try out next subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next one bye bye